There's no easy way to break this news to anybody, but anybody holding ABML is in for a whole world of pain. <laughs> What is the crack everyone? Welcome back to Bio Cell. I hope of course you're all well. You might notice something a bit different. Got a green screen going larger on the YouTube dream. Thanks to everyone that's been supporting me through the last couple of years. The channel's just been blowing up. It's just been growing and growing. Making some great money. Um, for anyone that's new to the channel, what we're predominantly doing on this channel over the last year, through, through pretty much circumstances, We've been uh, doing a hell of a lot of trading, more trading than what we normally do. The reason being is this is a bear market. We called it last year. We called it about six months ago a recession. Recessions came, now we're calling it a depression. And it's just getting worse. Just open your eyes, have a look around. Look at the video I did on Sunday. People say technical analysis doesn't work. On Sunday, I had said when everyone was shorting the market, don't short on Monday, it's gonna go up. And what happened? It went up. We've made a clean killing in the Discord. Anybody that's interested in protecting their hard-earned money, get into the Discord now, 3 dollars a calendar month. That is the promo out of the way. I'll come back to more promo probably throughout this video, but let's have a look at ABML. Since my last video, there really hasn't been any positive news. The plant still not opened. Don't know what's happening there, but we do have this as came out. Ryan Milter will be speaking today. Um, at the EV battery seminar series. He's delighted to be there. Uh, nothing really came out of that. He was quoted saying, instead of just dropping a battery in the furnace or a shredder, what our team has done is essentially take many of the same techniques we developed in our manufacturing site, and we now operate them in reverse order. And that's all well and good, Ryan saying that, and that is what we're investing in ABML for. But what I'm seeing is fundamentals not being hit. And with the current market conditions being very, very brutal, pulling everything down, and that's something that I want to make clear, this isn't just an ABML issue, this is a general market issue. We are going into one of the worst recession depressions of all time. Anyone who's burying their head in the sand, bound the dip, is going to get absolutely wrecked. We're covered in the Discord. We've been talking about the support levels. We've been talking about a lot of the price action that has happened since my last video. Um, trying to protect everybody. We're doing good, some good trades. Now, in my last video, I said I bought at 0.65 because that was the support level. Let's have a look at how that support level has held up. This support level goes back as far as December 20. So two years of support, two years of never seeing these lows. So you can see all the different channels. We've been making great money. Um, I had said in my last video, look, I sold at 0 0.71. I've been phasing in my money at these different levels on the way down. With my final top up, throwing caution to the wind, I bought at 0 0.65, fully back reinvested from the stake that I sold at 171. Delighted with that trade. I was very, very happy with that. However, we had fell and we fell quite hard since then. We have seen the stock fall in and around 15%. I have since, and as I said in my Discord, that 0 0.65 position, I sold. I sold because Things change. Where do I see this going? Well, you can see where the next line is, guys. This is going to be brutal. From the current prices, you're talking another 36% drop. From the current support level down to this level, 46% drop. So am I interested in buying a 0 0.65 for the long hold? Yes. But am I interested in buying a 0 0.65 for the short term to see it fall 46%? Hell no. That's why the 0 0.65, I sold some of that. I'm still massively invested. You can never time these things. Perhaps the plant will open, but even the plant opening now, it's that delayed. It's that insignificant. It won't really make a difference. There's nothing going to save ABML. A huge partnership or something like that potentially would be enough to, to jump this. But I don't even think the plant at this stage is going to give enough to be able to get us above this support level. Disappointing from the guys. Really, really is. If I had been able to got the plant open, we may have seen a bounce. Now that we've fell below in the general market trend, it is very unlikely that um, this is going to go anywhere other than south. In my opinion, now we do have other potential levels that you could say there could be a bounce. It's not completely and utterly uh, bearish. This level here could see a bounce but you're looking at a 0 0.5 let's just say that'll be the next level but there's really nothing here and you can see the volume there's nothing there's just nothing it's just going to completely fall where our chart tells us the same type of story looks like the downwards trend so that's the real berry scenario the downwards trend is coming we're entering the one of the worst depressions of all time we're making great money we're doing as much as we can to protect ourselves we're doing some great trades here really really happy everyone cheers net positive glad we found the channel blah 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 the list goes on we're making great money and what a lot of people are, that are in my discord not all of them but a lot of them have actually just purchased straight out the trading course 99 pounds you learn how to trade you learn about support levels you know when to buy and sell i'm going to show you something here that's maybe quite bullish for the likes of the charts but there is things that you can do to get on the right side of probabilities that is all it is it is probabilities it is looking at something and going what is the more likely outcome 
Knowing that will massively change your net outcome in these positions that you're holding. What we've been talking about in the indices is I today I've sold a lot of my shorts, not sold, trimmed a hell of a lot of my shorts. The reason I trimmed a lot of my shorts is because RSI is massively oversold. MACD is not quite there, but the RSI is massively oversold. So we look at a lot of different indicators on this channel to try and guide us the best we can. With the RSI being massively oversold, that would say to me that potentially there is a reversal coming. The reason being, if we look back at previous times, we can see here, RSI oversold, what happened? We got a bit of a bounce. And that's really it. Will it be a long-term bounce? Absolutely not. It'll be a bounce that'll get us maybe up and above those kind of levels again. It's going down. This whole market's going down. If you're nervous about that, protect yourself. Take out some money, sit it on the sides. Don't go near it. Or hedge yourself, which is what a lot of us in the Discord are doing. We've got sort of about 50% cash. We've about sort of maybe 25% still in our long positions. The rest we're shorting or maybe 30%, whatever. Everyone's kind of different. But generally speaking, that's kind of where I see it. Cash on the hip, in and out, day trades. Day trade all day. How's the market looking today? Is it a red day? We go short. If it's a good day, we go long. In and out on that day with the free cash, keeping that cash pile heavy. The long-term positions, we keep trying to monitor and going down the support levels. We're doing our best to navigate through that. And then the rest, we're, we're hedging. We're going short. We're buying bonds. We're buying gold. We're buying things that will hopefully aid us if the market goes down south. We're making money on the way down. We sell all that out. We put it into our long positions. We write it all back up. Quite simple if you say it like that. It is not as straightforward as that, I'll be honest but you can definitely learn this here. So if you're interested in the trading course, one more time, get into it. And I will see you in the next video, guys. ABML in the short term is going through a lot of pain. There is issues because they're not fundamentally hitting their goals. Their last earnings was a bit massaged. Let's be honest, it was a bit massaged to make it look a bit more positive than what it actually was when you dived in, as I did in the previous video, and I'll share the link to that previous video. You can go in and make your own assumptions. Battery recycling has a great future. Is ABML gonna survive the next couple of years of the worst ever market crash? <sighs> Time will tell. I'm still invested and I'll keep you updated if that changes. Enjoy the rest of your day and I would consider watching this video next. This video is all about the downturn. This is going to depress the life out of you, but it's as realistic as it can be. This is what I need to see before I would say we've reached some sort of bottom. Did this month video months and months ago. Story hasn't changed, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.